Hi, after open this Mark U55 this TV, so what are the key components inside the TV? Let me explain. This is power PCB and this is main PCB, this is dummy control PCB and we have separate Wi-Fi dongle PCB and two box speakers and IR PCB it is built in main PCB we have only one power key and the sensor remote IR sensor it is built in main PCB these are all the key components we have in this TV and this is actually this entire unit called panel module when we order the panel module we will get a entire without this PCB so we need to remove from the old unit we need to fix to the panel module from the customer unit then we, we can make a ready for the unit so let me explain about the cables and cable connections from power PCB we have two connectors and this is actually for main PCB supply connectors and the next one is panel backlight connectors these two connectors fixed into the power PCB this cable connected to the main PCB and other connectors which is backlight it is going inside to the backlight strip into the panel next from main PCB we have connectors this is called LVDS cable LVDS means low voltage differential signal cable this will go to timing control PCB the signal voltage and next we have the next connector which is coming from the power PCB it is supplied to the main PCB connectors and next we have speaker connectors which is going to the speakers left also the right speakers we have two right and left both the speakers the connector it is joined to the main PCB next we have the Wi-Fi dongle cables which is going to the Wi-Fi dongle PCB this actually IR receiver uh, plastic cables which will receive the signal from the remote and it will give it to the IR sensor we have a uh, Wi-Fi dongle antenna cables connector this cable it is connected to the Wi-Fi dongle antenna so if it this is if it is not connected then you will not get a proper signal so we have to check this and we have FFC 2 FFC cable which is connected to the scalar PCB so now we are going to check the AC voltage so we need to arrange the multimeter and keep the range into AC 600 volt then keep the probes to check the voltage so which is coming 200 25 voltage so normally 220 to 240 voltage healthy for the TV so we can use it now let us connect the electrical socket into the power PCB and we will see the voltage whether it is coming to the PCB so here we are unable to check the voltage but we have the AC filter here so we can check the AC filter Oh, the voltage is coming same voltage 225 it means the AC circuit is ok means the fuse and AC circuit is ok next we will measure the DC voltage and before measuring the DC voltage turn the multimeter into DC range keep 600 and we have here so now we are going to measure the DC voltage in the power PCB we have a DC filter which is the main filter here it is mentioned the negative and other side is the positive so I am keeping the negative probe into the negative terminal and the positive so it is coming 215 voltage so it means this is 300 to 350 voltage DC is good for the PCB so this is good 
so the dc output is coming so next i will see the secondary voltage which is the standby voltage it's supposed to come here it is mentioned for pcb the voltages here they mention clearly the power pcb supply pin number 1 ground 2 no connections again 3 ground 4 no connections 5 plus 12 voltage and 6 no connections 6 12 voltage 7 adg adjustment 8 ground 9 no connections 10 ground 11 standby voltage 12 12 voltage plus and 13 no connection 14 12 voltage and 15 no connections 16 so these are all the connections pin connections in the power pcb first we will see the voltages the output so from here third pin supposed to come 12 voltage so now i will get a black probe in the common ground so now i am going to measure the voltage pin number 6 8 is the 12 voltage so this is the 6 volt 6th uh, pin 12 voltage is okay and 8th pin also 12 voltage so the voltage is coming to the power pcb actually in this connector we are going to measure maximum 12 voltage so always keep the multimeter range also near to the measuring voltage so we are going to measure only 12 voltage so we can keep this multimeter into 20 so you will get a accurate voltage so here actually it is mentioned pin number 6 and 8 at 12 voltage so which is showing a 12 voltage and also pin number 15 and 13 also 12 voltage so both it is showing 2 voltage it means the power pcb it is giving supply to the main pcb which is 12 voltage so after releasing we will we will get a backlight voltage in this now this unit in standby condition so we will not get a backlight voltage till now we check the voltage of power pcb so we had checked the ac input voltage to the power where we have the ac filters it is came around 225 voltage and next we had checked the dc voltage where in the dc filter 300 plus voltage after that we was checked the power pcb output voltage which is 12 voltage so now we are going to check the backlight voltage the backlight voltage if you want to check we need to release the standby before releasing the standby so let us check the standby voltage in the power pcb so we have actually here mentioned the standby voltage so we are going to check the standby voltage here Yeah, now it is showing zero voltage. So now I am releasing the standby through the remote. You can see the red light. So now it is standby. I am releasing the standby. Now it is turned to green. It means the TV is turned on. You can see the voltage standby where it is 2.92 voltage. This is called standby voltage, which is getting from the main PCB. So now let us check the backlight voltage. So we will get around 80 voltage for each connectors. So now we are getting backlight voltage as well. main pcb voltage it means the power supply is working fine now let us see the 
DC voltage coming till main PCB or not we will see we can see with the help of multimeter it is coming 12 voltage so it means the DC voltage is coming till main PCB we will get from the power PCB to main PCB 12 voltage and standby voltage standby voltage you will get 3 voltage and for the power supply to the main PCB 12 voltage these two voltage we will get from the main PCB so here option clearly mentioned the standby voltage which is from the bottom to third pin the bottom sl slot so the same third pin we need to trace out here and the same we have to trace out to the main PCB so you can able to see here third pin so I'm inserting probe into the third pin so after insert release the standby you will get a standby voltage Please ensure to check the main PCB voltage and keep your multimeter probe with a sharp edge so easily you can able to measure the voltage in the main PCB. So here they mention pin number from the bottom, bottom slot, third pin standby. So here we have the connectors from the bottom third pin we need to trace out from the third pin it is going to the main PCB so I am inserting this into third pin so release the standby then you will get a standby voltage so I was inserted the probe into the bottom third pin which is multimeter showing 2.92 voltage which is 3 voltage is the standby voltage if the TV is in the standby mode then you will not get this voltage When the TV is in standby mode, you will not get a standby voltage. When you release the standby, then you will get a standby voltage. So again, turn on, you will get a standby voltage. Now let us check the timing control voltage which is coming from the main PCB to the timing control PCB. We have here is the fuse. Okay, so I'm going to check the input of the fuse voltage, it will show 12 voltage. Also the output voltage is supposed to show same voltage. It means the fuse is okay. Also it is connected properly to the timing control board. Now let us check the audio voltage to the speaker. So actually this is the speaker connectors to the both the speakers. Now we can check the voltage, you will get 6 voltage is the output. So this is 6 voltage it is showing in the multimeter. Also the second output, we have two output right. So we can check the other output, also same voltage 6 volt. Now let us measure the Wi-Fi dongle PCB voltage it's supposed to come 5 voltage so this is actually 5 voltage now we let us measure the uh, key PCB voltage 3.3 voltage is the key PCB voltage and the same voltage for IR also both the voltage is available it means the power PCB working 
fine. These are all the voltage we need to measure in the TV which board is working fine or which are the PCB having a defect. For power PCB we have to check the voltage. AC filter we have here it's supposed to come 222 to 40 voltage and DC voltage we have the DC filter here we are going to measure 300 to 400 voltage after that we have two socket here which is coming output from the power PCB this is actually for main PCB supply and this is actually backlight panel backlight supply so the backlight supply will come only after releasing the standby so next we will see the in power PCB if you are getting these two voltage which is 12 voltage for main PCB and standby voltage 3.3 voltage next the backlight voltage around 70 voltage it means the power PCB working fine to identify the main PCB working fine or not so we have to check the voltage let me explain the voltage we have to measure the standby voltage which is 3.3 voltage after releasing standby then we have to check the LVDS voltage which is 12 voltage presenting to the timing control PCB and next we have the speaker voltage which is 6 voltage for left and right both the side and also we have to measure the Wi-Fi dongle supply voltage which is 5 voltage and IR voltage 3.3 voltage then next key PCB voltage 3.3 voltage these are all the voltage if present it means the main PCB working fine in repair call if you found any Wi-Fi related issues open the TV and measure the Wi-Fi dongle PCB voltage which is 5 voltage so we need to measure the voltage which is 5 voltage for Wi-Fi dongle if this is presented then remove the Wi-Fi dongle antenna connectors again reconnect again you reconnect with this also check the Wi-Fi antenna whether it is connected properly solder or not If you found any crackling noise or vibration noise, check the speaker physical conditions of this diaphragm any damages. If it has got any damage, then replace the speaker. If you are not getting audio from the speaker, any one of the speaker whether right or left or if it is both the speaker, we need to check the resistance of the speaker. To measure the resistance, we need to select the multimeter range into the resistance where we are going to measure 6 ohms. So I am keeping 200 ohms. We have the speaker connectors here. So it is showing 6 ohms. It means the one side speaker is okay and also we have to check other and other speakers. This is also 6 ohms. So it means both the speaker resistance okay.